fellow Pelican Sound members. This is your head golf professional, Tim Harris. I want to take a few minutes of your time to talk to you about a very important subject, which is care of your golf course. We're getting to that time of season where we're going to have close to three to 400 rounds per day coming through on all three nines. So we want to do our part and take care of the course. That means filling in your divots with sand, fixing ball marks on the greens, and also using the rakes the proper way when you're in the bunkers. But I wanted to kind of show you here an example of an unfilled divot and how ugly it can be. We have uh, out here on river number two, it took a ride out here and I found a few uh, unfilled divots. So that's gonna create problems later on because the grass grows horizontally with Bermuda grass. And if there's a depression and there's no sand to fill it in, it's gonna leave a little depression and it's not gonna be a good playing surface for you. So real quickly, I'm gonna show you how to fill in a divot correctly. The sand is provided on your golf cart. Get a scoop of sand and, and spread it into the divot evenly so that the top of the sand is equal to the layer of the grass. And then you can kind of smooth it out with either your foot or the scoop that you have. It leaves a nice level surface there with the sand and then the grass grows over the top of the sand. It will come in a lot nicer for a level playing surface. So very important to please, please, please fix your divots when you're out there on the golf course. Well, we just hit a shot from the sand and proper etiquette is going to require that we fix the surface with the rake provided in the sand traps smooth it over any divots that have taken or any footprints that are left so that the golfers behind us have a nice playing surface just like you did when you, before you hit your ball in the bunker so here's the divot i took after taking the shot the best way to use the rake is to start where the divot is and start raking towards the exit of the golf, of the sand trap. So I'm going in this direction where the low area of the sand trap is. You always want to exit in the lowest area. Start the rake and pull it towards you as you're raking your footprints and the divot and try to leave as smooth a surface as possible. And then on the last few strokes of the rake, I'm going to be outside the rake, uh, the bunker pulling the sand towards me. So now I've left it with a pretty flat surface. Now our superintendent prefers that the rakes be left inside the bunker when you leave. So the best way to do that is to always put the handle part of the rake pointing towards the tee box. So whether your green side or your uh, fairway side, when you put the rake back in, put the teeth towards the green, put the handle towards the tee box and leave it in right there for everyone else to use. Thank you. time to fix any ball marks that are left on the green from your approach shots. Um, as you can see, we have a ball mark right here. Uh, I always like to use the divot tool that has a couple of prongs on it, something that's very simple to use. You can keep in your pocket uh, so it's ready to use when you get to the green. But the proper way to fix these ball marks is to always feel as though the prongs are going to enter in at an angle. So if you look at the uh, pitch mark that's left here, you have a high point right in the top of the, par of the pitch mark that was left from the ball. So I'm going to stick the divot tool in diagonally in front of it and I'm going to push towards the center of the pitch mark. And I'm going to go around each side of it and do the same thing. I'm going to enter it in an angle, push towards the center, enter at an angle, push towards the center. So you can see the whole thing is raised now. So all of the grass has been raised by me pushing towards the center. Definitely not pulling down or pushing down away from the center because then that tears the roots of the grass. So now we have a raised... Uh, grass right here from me pushing towards the center you can use a putter head to tap it down or just use your foot tap it down and it smooths out the surface a good rule of thumb is to always look around not only fix your own ball mark or pitch mark but look around and see if there's others that for some reason have not been repaired properly I have another one right here next to me so I'm going to take care of my pitch mark and I'm going to take care of another one while I'm here on the green so I'm going to do the same thing approach it from the sides push towards the center it raises it up and then we're going to step on it and we're going to smooth out the surface when you don't repair a pitch mark properly you might see some unsightly yellow marks on the green that's because if it hasn't been repaired properly the grass can't grow back in a smooth surface and it gets a little bit of a depression there so we all want to do our part to help out please uh, fill in your divots fix your uh, pitch marks when you're on the green our handicap car drivers You'll notice that my cart here has a yellow handicap flag. We've had classes over the last few months where people have come and they've uh, gone to a proper uh, etiquette class as far as where to park your cart around the greens. 
you'll see these blue discs around the edges of the greens. We're over here by river hole number two. The blue disc is over here about 20 to 30 feet off the edge of the green. You see where I parked my cart? I parked my cart to the outside of the blue disc. So as I came up and approached the green, I have a flag on my cart. It tells me that I'm allowed to come out here as long as I do not park on this side of the blue disc, which is closer to the green. I park to the outside of the blue disc. And then it tells you how you can park your cart just by following where the blue discs are. So the people who have taken my class have gotten a booklet. Um, it tells them where the blue discs are on every hole. If you do require a handicap flag, all I ask from you is a doctor's note and then come see me if you haven't already and I can give you one of those booklets. So it's just things that we can do to help take care of our own golf course. It's your golf course, take some pride in it. Make sure that you leave it in as good a condition before you play it as when after you play it. All right, so again, folks, thanks again. It's gonna be a busy season. Hopefully this helps you out. We are planning to do some more divot parties in the future. So look for uh, some notification on that. I think we're gonna to try to plan one at the end of January where we can get everybody together and maybe start filling in divots on one course that we close down late in the afternoon. So look for that. And if you have any questions, you can always come and see me. Uh, my door is always open. Thanks, Pelican Sound. Looking forward to a great season.